And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. Last time we tried to do some XP farming because we need some we need a we need a level up in order to bring up to our repair skill to 75% in order to repair the power armor. Um We are still a bit far away from the next level, so we need to get some experience. Um, there are in fact some opportunities here in the hub to gain some experience. And for this we need to talk to Decker. Yeah, the, the person that we in fact um, haven't yet met. One very important character in the hub we have never talked to. This is the Maltese Falcon. It's a gambling place where we in fact can gamble. You can actually bet some bottle caps in game. And what we are going to do is... Um, yeah, I don't want to gamble actually. What we are going to do is we want uh, to get a job from Decker. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, give me a beer. There'll be five caps. Here you are. Hmm. Okay, let's talk to Kane. <laughs> Leave. I don't have the patience. Hmm. You see a very upset gambler. I think they are cheating. Did you see that? That was impossible. Hmm. It seems people's um, opinion of this place is very much in agreement. Namely that this is quite a horrible um, Quite a horrible gambling place. An unfair gambling place. There's a door that we can lock because you we gain 25 experience by unlocking this door. You see a very pretty lady, she seems to be busy. Um the guy is actually not very interested in neither a conversation nor a free sum so would you please get out of the way it's not just a, a casino it's also a brothel a brothel it appears Another locked door. But not a locked door for long it is, because Mr. Unlockman fails to pick the lock. In fact. Oh. You failed to pick the lock. That's strange. Aha! She's mine. Ah, another... Hmm. Another prostitute and her client. Hmm. You see a drunk. Uh, hmm. Let's try to talk to Kane again. Hmm. Okay, I, c I don't know how you actually. Yeah. 
We actually get a job from Kane. Uh, so this doesn't work. Okay. Um. You know what? We're actually we're not going to repair that armor. Um. We're going to steal the armor from. Oh shit. No, we can't. It's not. You don't steal the armor. You don't steal the armor itself from Rombus. You only steal the armor parts. Hmm. We still need to repair it. Okay, so we do need this experience. Ah. Hmm. I should not have killed these. destroyed these. Deathclaw axe. Hmm. Okay, give me a moment and I'll well figure I've I'll have figured out a way to gain some experience. Hold on. And I'm back. Um unfortunately I did not figure out a way to gain some quick experience. Um however I reconsidered the proposition that you need an you need a repair skill of 75% in order to actually repair the power armor. I believe this is a misinformation and I will test this theory by going back to the barrel of steel and trying to repair that damn power armor again. Um, if we are lucky we will maybe have an account on the way giving us some experience or not. Okay. So power armor was the third level. Okay, let's try repairing that armor again. Yeah, and by the way, that's something I completely forgot to mention. Or maybe I did mention it, in fact. There is in fact a peaceful solution to the conflict between the brother the um, between the razors and the uh, what are they called? The rough guards, not not rough guards. The well, the guards in the LA Boneyard. Okay. Yeah, I think I talk. I actually talked about that. Okay. Um, we'll just keep trying to repair this power armor. Until it works. And if it if it doesn't work, um, well, If it doesn't work, then I think this will serve as a lesson. Namely, as a lesson, um, as a reminder that you need to invest those skill points into repair. Even though you think you might never need them. This is not working. Hmm. Also, I have no idea what to do with the um, with this technical manual. We see stuff.
Hmm. Let's talk to this guy. Ah. So you're the new initiate. Welcome aboard. What can I do for you? Who are you and what do you do here? I'm Paul, head of energy weapons development. What kind of energy weapons? Laser, plasma, you name it. I've, I've built it or at least rebuilt it. Any chance I can get one? You would have to see Michael to be issued a weapon. You can authorize, you can't authorize you for one though. For that would, you would have to see Talos. All right, where can I find them? Thanks for the info. Let's talk to him again. Hmm. Ah. Let's just let's just try keep trying that. I don't know whether there's a hard limit or whether it's just um unlikely to be successful. Well, if it's just unlikely, then you just have to try this often enough and it must work eventually. Hmm. But it's not working. Wasn't there some kind of repair tool? I mean, can't you use the... So the, the multi-tool wasn't... This was from, for repairing, right, okay. Can't I just use a multi-tool on this? Doesn't work. We could try to find to buy some books. Um, so perhaps this, this this dwarf in the hub. I think his name was Mitch. Anyway, that that guy in the hub that sells these items for these outrageous prices. He might have some more of these electronic electronics books. This is really not working. Um, yeah, I think our... I think there, there really is a hard limit, okay. Um, so let's head back to the hub and see whether we can find any of these electronic books. Electronics books, not electronic books. Well, they might be electronic, but that's not the point that I'm making here. Okay, 
And if all else fails, then I will just do some brutal XP farming of going around the desert. I will do this off screen and then once we'll have enough skill points for a level, then I will, yeah, resume from that point on. Okay, back to the harp. Are we getting an incident? Yes, we do, in fact, some giant rats. Um, let's just kill these. Don't even need to waste any ammunition. Target out of range. Okay, two down. And I think that one is dead too. Um, 305 points of experience. It's not bad. I don't think I want to keep an irradiated fruit. Thank you. And another incident. Aha. This time a little bit more dangerous, perhaps. Or perhaps not. Uh, let's hit this in the head. Yes, I. Um, don't have enough action points for a shot. Hmm. Yeah, these red scorpions are no match for my party. <laughs> yeah. Not even slightly. I mean, even dog meat alone is just wrecking havoc. Yeah. And that. And that. Okay. Um, I think I actually want to take those rat scorpion tails. Because I believe if we trade them uh, in shady sense, it does give some XP. Ah, and we are. Okay, don't need this, this beer. Can I please drop this? I can't drop this. Okay. Can I just drop this bottle of beer, please? Yeah, it's, it's too heavy, okay. Well, anyway, um, let us leave. <laughs> yes, I know I could use my companions as mules, but uh, I'm not going to. Okay, where's the bank? Okay, there. Okay, last thing we do in this video, we're going to check the general store. See whether they have any electronic electronics books. like to buy something. What is this? A motion sensor? Hmm. Aha! Um, I think you can... well... I 
think I'm just going to pay you in knives. Uh, not in not in knives, in bottle caps. I mean, I, I have 40,000 bottle caps. I think I can afford your, even your outrageous prices. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, let's see how much this does. So our we work at 55, now it's at 59. Okay. <laughs> hmm. This might not be enough, actually. But it's a start. Um and when we'll come back, folks, well, we'll deal with this XP problem. So until next time, folks, until then.